everybody, so today's video is going to be about some of the world's most beautiful libraries. Since there's so many wonderful libraries out there in the world, I have compiled a list of five of them for this video, but if you want to see more of these types of videos, let me know down below and I'll talk about more of them because I could talk about this stuff for days. I love doing the research, I love doing the photo finding, and I love talking about it with you guys, so... It's not like it's a chore. It's more of a, like a fun thing. Really fun. And this is the history major in me talking. I love doing the research about these beautiful libraries and places and just their capsules of history. And it's so cool. Libraries are so phenomenal, not just because you get free books from them, but because they hold so much history within them. History, culture, beautiful architecture, and maybe a ghost or two, maybe. Could be a thing. And if I have any incorrect information in this video, even though I've done quite extensive research, please let me know down below and I'll like correct it in the description box. But I have done quite a lot of research and it's been so much fun and I have quite a few numbers of how many books are in each library. So those may have changed since the articles I've looked at had been written, but I'm really excited to be sharing this information with you guys. So let's get into it. Number one is the Library of Congress that is in Washington DC in the USA. It was founded in 1880 right after the discovery of America. I really like how they're like, okay, this country has been discovered. Now let's figure out where we're gonna put the library. So this library is awesome. It's open to the public and few people know this, I think. At least that's what my friend told me when she went there. But you can actually get a library card from the Library of Congress. And my friend has one and I'm so incredibly jealous because of that. The Library of Congress claims to be the largest library in the world. And not necessarily because it's in the biggest building ever, even though it's in a quite large building, but because of the amount of books it holds within it. And get ready for this, guys, because you're probably gonna pass out once I tell you how many books are in this library. 24 million books. <laughs> Mind blown. Hey guys, so just to clarify what I just put on the screen, I have it up right here. So there's 24 million catalog books in the Library of Congress classification system. So those are strictly novels. But there are also a ton more items that are also included in the grand total number, which I just figured out is 160 million items, but that is including all the things I just listed, which is like monographs, serials, music, um, newspapers, pamphlets, technical reports, and other printed materials, along with a non-classified section. So that's what bumps the number up so much. So that's what I wanted to clarify. Now onto the video. That's just insane. And I never knew that that many books can be in one place, but I guess it is. And that's just so freaking cool to me. Number two is the Trinity College Library in Dublin, Ireland. It was founded in 1592. And I bet tons of you guys have seen photos of this library because it's such a popular photo destination. And there is a particular reason why it's so heavily photographed. And it's a place that's within this library called the Long Room. It is a room that is 213 feet long in the old library that was built between 1712 and 1732. So this library is very old, but it's this room that really attracts everybody to it. I've seen countless photos of this library just circulating the internet on Tumblr, on Twitter, on Instagram, just because us book lovers flock to it because it's just so phenomenal. The long room is just huge. It is ginormous and it has stacks upon stacks upon stacks of books just jutting up into the sky it seems and that's just so awesome and this library makes me want to go visit Ireland even more because of it. It also has a pretty extensive book collection of six million novels. Okay now I definitely have to go. <laughs> Number three is the library at the Benedictine Monastery in Admont, Austria. This monastery library was built in 1776 with a grand total of 200,000 plus novels. But it isn't just the books that attracts people here. It's it's also the beautiful artwork and the architecture and just the beauty of this monastery altogether. It is the largest monastery library in the world, but sadly in 1865 a disastrous fire consumed the whole entire building and almost destroying it all. But it could be salvaged to what it is today, which is extraordinarily just beautiful and wonderful. And it isn't just a library, but a museum as well. Number four is the Boston Anthenaeum. And I'm sorry if I pronounced the second word in that wrong because, you know, I've never been able to pronounce it exactly correct. So if I did pronounce it correctly, Correctly. I'm really happy about that. And this library is in Boston, Massachusetts. It was built in 1807 and is one of the US's oldest independent libraries. And it has a grand total of 500,000 plus novels in its collection. And the thing about this one, why I put it here, was actually because I want to go get a membership at it because you can get a membership for a whole entire year to go use this library. And I am so excited to get that dang membership because whew, I could just think about all the cool things I could do in there. Like read, it's gonna be so cool. <laughs> And guys, 
guys, like this place is just so freaking beautiful. And another beautiful library, side note, not necessarily on this list, but who knows, maybe I'll put it on the list later on in further videos, is the Boston Public Library, which also a beautiful building that you do not have to pay an annual fee to go into. And it has so much beautiful architecture and so many texts, and it's just so freaking awesome as well. Boston, you are doing so good with your library game. And now we get to the final library that I have on my list, number five, the Codrington Library in Oxford. So pretty much I have an addiction to libraries that are in Oxford, and I am probably gonna be naming at least one library in Oxford in each one of these videos because there's so many of them and I'm jealous of anybody who lives in the area and gets to go visit these places. This library is a part of All Souls College in Oxford and I just want to go visit this place so badly. Like just everything about it is so beautiful. It's just so aesthetically pleasing and I love the contrast of the white ceiling in this picture to the dark beautiful bookshelves and I just am in love with it. It was built in 1751 and has a grand total of 185,000 novels and it could have more. I'm just saying that guys. These are just the numbers I've been given. But I know if I was one of the people who buy the books for this place, I would have been like 100 books a day being like, hey guys, it's okay. I'm just trying to up our book collection when really I just want to read all the books. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this library porn today. I love just sharing all these libraries with you guys. And in further videos, I want to do even more research on them to find really fun facts about them that you guys might want to know. I tried my best in this one, but I think I could do better. So if you want to see more of these videos, please let me know down below. And if you want to see other bookish list videos, Videos of me just listing cool things about bookish things, let me know that also down below with some suggestions on what to do it on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!